when I and then I I top of my and then it's like Elmer glue that like drizzles down into the toilet bowl that rests on top of my and then my wife gets mad because sometimes the cum stays on the inside of the bowl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smidge more. Right there. It's perfect. And then rotate this way. Right there. Perfect. Three. Go. Oh, that was some insane battery boy shit right there. That was. Because it was in sync. <sighs> Back. Yeah. Back. All right. Wait. Yeah, I just wanted. I just we just to... did it, Batty. First off, can I? You just, Batty, I was like, "Well, do you have ice, Batty, in your house?" He's like, <laughs> "Where the ice is." Also, Batty, where's your hand soap for when you take a shit or piss in the next to the sink? There's no soap in there. There's a hundred percent no. Say soap. hi to Eli. It's racially ambiguous, Batty. That guy's fucking ridiculous, donut. That's harder to rhyme, but he's a real. Nice guy, welcome to unsubscribe. Hey guys, <laughs> thanks for watching the Unsubscribe Podcast. Um, make sure wherever you're listening or watching, whether it's on YouTube, uh, Castro, Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon, Podbean, Stitcher, or that's all of them. Please leave a comment, uh, uh, like it, thumbs up it, give it a rating of five stars, whatever you can do. It helps the podcast out immensely. And Donut and Eli will be very happy if you do that. And we want to make Donut and Eli happy today. Yeah. For five stars on everything and a comment if there is possible because we need to be at the top. Donut, say something come. motivating. And that's where the you come. That is. Come subscribe. Hi, everyone. Unsubscribe <laughs> podcast here. I'm joined today by Eli Double Fat, Batty Brandon Streams, two. Dave. Brandon 2, Dave, oh, it's Dave, Dave now, yeah, Dave. It's Dave now, and, and Hunter, aka Papa Meat, Meat, Papa Meat, Meat, Canyon. Meat Canyon, so many names, so just many do that for an hour, people, I'm so <laughs> like, oh, that's why he draws the way he does, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say a word, <laughs> just reminding me of my son, right, <laughs> <laughs> no, long hair podcast, let's go, <laughs> What's up, everyone? Hi, dude. We're so excited to have you. I apparently touched the guest. Thanks guests for the having me. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, <laughs> and it's Brandon. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> we had a uh, one of the comments in the new BRCC videos. Just it's like, holy fuck! I just listened to the the Eli Donut Heather Dave <laughs> podcast. They just call him Dave now. I was like, <laughs> he's just been replaced his Bro, name. Yeah. They call me Brandon, Batty, Kyle, that other guy, the guest. Like, <laughs> fuck off. I hate we have it's started. my house. <laughs> or is it? Hmm. Not for long. It's unsubscribe's house. <laughs> it's our, we pay rent here. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> Betty's like, okay, yeah. I'm not hating this life, yeah. bro. How is it? The drive down, the beautiful cup, the hair. Hi. It was good. It was a fine drive down. <laughs> Did you have some good? A lot worst. of highways. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to some Kid Rock on the way down, and uh, fucking a man of culture. Ball with the ball, the bag, the bag, diggy, 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 yeah, yeah. the boogie, up, jump the boogie. That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite Kid Rock song? <laughs> That's the only one, right? I like the one with what is it, Cheryl right. Crow? Is that is that the one? I'm I put your picture away. I put your picture, picture away. away. I didn't cry today. today. It's a sad song. Oh, the you one both where they are both singing it. Where they both killed themselves. That's the everyone who listened to they it. Don't. Oh. <laughs> they don't. It's themselves. almost the cheer song. <laughs> Maybe I wanted them to. No, they're just like doing very intense way. That's that's not the early two thousands ways of music videos. Oh, you know what I'm thinking about? That was the the late nineties way of music videos. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. Around the same time the song uh, the song came out where it's like he put the bottle to his head and pulled the trigger. What song that song? Is it? it was a no. country song. It came out the same time that one did. That's what. That's what I've I was thinking. Never of. heard this country. I've never heard that either. I don't do country. Yeah, he like misses a girl that like. Did you write something. this song? Good dude. I'm yes. Glad. <laughs> In my head, all the way over here. You never heard of this? Here, <laughs> I'll send it to you on my Spotify list. It's written by me. <laughs> I do a reversion every year. <laughs> no, no, Cody. We need to talk. <laughs> Oh my god, it's good to have you buddy We've been talking about you, you came, hung out We've had some good times You came, you came, Cody, come I came, yeah that's true, come Thank you, I just wanted you to say come You're just one of our favorite peoples, like, ever You're the kindest soul 
Uh, a shout out to when you lost your wallet. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I didn't lose my wallet. Is that the first time you hung out? I was, you was, was, fucking I was you. dead set on. I was like, I'm almost positive I left in the truck. And to be fair, we did look in the truck, but it, yeah, was, we it was not fucking there. I don't know what happened. My five year old nephew found it three months later. Charlie, yeah, like Charlie just found it and like in, under Uncle the seat Cody. or something. How much? And he's like, we were, I was driving, charged. and he's like, "What's this?" I'm like, "What the fuck?" And I look at it. Oh Jesus Christ! There's Hunter's wallet. Mm -hmm. Papa got a new up. pair of Nikes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> John's out here buying Robux on fucking me. On his <laughs> Everyone, John just goes through everyone's wallet for Robux. It's fiending. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Did I tell you about that? Mm -hmm. My son spent thousands of dollars on Robux for my five grand account. without him five knowing. Grand. How do you punish that? <laughs> <sighs> well, John's not with us anymore. <laughs> there you go. Okay. He's a military academy. <laughs> oh, yeah. We yeah. found out 520 week abortions aren't a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I called him and asked. I brought him to the clinic. Do you, do you have a problem with ro like Robux? Is that just, my dad sat me down when I was younger. I was playing Ratchet and Clank. Oh, and he was like, "You gotta stop." Can I? What can I? Can I say shit? I Everything. Like, yeah. I say like, he's like, he's like, you gotta stop this f stuff with this <laughs> and, clank. and I was like, I love I this like, podcast so much. But I was like, I was like, no, but I, it's about guns and I shoot people, Dad. <laughs> And he was like, didn't I buy you Cabela's Most Dangerous Hunt? Why are you playing that? That has guns. So I didn't know if there was a deep-seated uh, hatred for, like, Roblox is, like, a parent that doesn't understand the new generation of what might be considered some, I don't know. Yeah. Well, okay, so a reason that kids should stay away from Roblox, my mm. sister is a child crimes investigator. She's arrested, like, hundreds and hundreds of pedophiles. Pedophiles like to use Roblox to lure kids. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta say that pedophiles probably tapped every industry though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, she said a lot of them though. Use they Roblox. really love Roblox. They love. I just picture your dad walking in. You're like playing Warzone or Call of Duty. He slaps you. He's like, "What is this fucking girl shit? I got you, Big Game Hunter, the arcade version. Well, he was, you got the pump shotgun. It's not good enough for you. Uh, he, was, he was pissed because I mean, Ranch and Clay. It's like a fucking like dog." <laughs> Or wherever the fuck he's supposed to be, like a fox thing. I think. And, yeah. and, and the PS one or the PS two game you got, they it came with a poster, and I like put it over. I had like I had a Mark McGuire got milk poster on my door. And I covered it with that. <laughs> I, 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 I covered it with that, and I and I was like, uh, and I was like, I just think he's cooler. He's like cooler than Mark McGuire. <laughs> my son's gay. But it's like him. For, and I was like, it's it's like less gay for me to have this fucking rash. I'm like looking at Mark McGuire with like a shut sure, off in a milky fucking like, yeah. Yeah. It's it's like got milk. milk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pre steroids, Mark McGuire. I love your dad. Oh, it was like prime. Oh, it was trust me. It was while post. he was doing it. How, how, was how, old, how old are you? I'm Oh, okay, you're, you're fine. I just right picture there. your dad okay. looking at both posters like in your head. It's like that. It's Mark McGuire just flexing milk mushrooms. He's like, that's what a man is, son. And you're my like, I'm sitting there crisscross applesauce on the ground, <laughs> painting Jupiter and shit on my wall. Cooking dinner. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in space, mom. I'm in space. <laughs> I know where your art comes from now. Your child. Trauma. Uh, trauma. trauma. The more you know. <laughs> You proud of him, <laughs> Dad? <laughs> As he drinks. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to the childhood trauma. Okay, yeah. Let's, right. Do you want me to get the stronger bottle? <laughs> this, is, this is that episode where we're just deep diving. I had a list of shit typed out today. I was like, no, let's wing it. Today is just going to be a winging it per usual. We used to do scripts and stuff for our podcast for like the first like 10 episodes. We'd all show up with like notepads. Cody would have his iPad out just writing notes. I'd have my phone with like a notepad going. We'd be like, we can talk about this, this, and this. I'm like, whoa, Eli had this really great. Let's talk about that one though. And we'd get through like half a topic and it was just 90% us rambling about Pokemon and cum. So it's like, well, we don't really do that anymore. We just kind of drink and. I think like whenever you first start doing a podcast though, I think people are like, oh, it's <clears throat> like. I think the naive going thinking that's just like chatting with friends, but it's like a very like odd social dynamic to continuously talk about like meaningless shit over and over again in like a fun way. Mm -hmm. you oh, know? Yeah. Unless you're like Joe Rogan or somebody who has like interesting guests that come in. Or well, something. We so I think shit. That's structure. why you're here now. And Batty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Even I'm uncomfortable with it. <laughs> it's rude. I, lo I love this man's house. I get compliment. I'm like walking around. I'm like, damn. 
This is yeah. what poverty you feels this? like. Oh, you're, you're trying to? Own? Okay, cool. No, you just rent it? This is great. <laughs> this is, reminds yeah. me of my childhood. Uh, Mark yeah. McGuire had been right there. Uh, <laughs> Ratchet and Clink right here. Yeah. You know the thumbnails of the video is going to have <laughs> Mark McGuire just McGuire in it, right? like flexing shirtless I with wish I had milk. That still. <laughs> we'll find it for you. I wish I had it, man. I wish it would, yeah. That'd be great. If it was, that's got to be like a collector's item. It's worth millions, and you don't know. I don't. I wouldn't say millions, but I would think at least a strong like seven fifty, <laughs> like a pristine. Like this is like a first edition, like first run print. Imagine if he signed it too. Yeah, that's true. Actually, Wait, I don't, is Mark McGuire still alive? Oh yeah, I think so. Well, he's not fucking I don't ancient. Know. I know he's not at all. I just assumed like roids or drugs. I, don't I, know. The, I don't know. most sports player like him, I could walk up to him and not know what he looked like. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah. hi. Mm. I can picture him from like back in his prime because I used to watch baseball when I was a kid. I don't know his hair color. Brown? He's like, now? Oh, here's a ginger guy. Is that what you know? Yeah. We, we're all synced <laughs> up. It's the like soulless. Just, on, just, <laughs> it's just the thing with like MLB, just fucking sonar him. MLB players, whenever they roid up, they still look kind of normal because you can be so out of shape and still play Major League Baseball. Yes, absolutely. So they just look like kind of buff, like big, like prison bod kind mm -hmm. of guys. But they're not like Rich prison Piana bod. where it's like so noticeable where you're like, Holy fuck! I'm gonna remember that monster for the rest of my life. You know, that's like that one. Uh, what's his name? Um, who's the fighter? Yo, yo. Um, fuck! He's from South America. Sure. Yoel, Yoel, the uh, fucking black do, dude that is fucking... literally a built oh, like. A, I know you're talking about. Yo, Ramirez. He does, uh, he does the. Where he's doing like salute. yoga and like weird poses, like one handed. Dude. Yeah, like dude is built stands. like he gets tested every time for steroids for the UFC because they're like, homeboy, you're on steroids. He's like, I'm not. I'm just built this way. Like, literally, if you go to my hometown in nature, no, his hometown, apparently, like everyone's built that way. The and he's are in the water <laughs> he, and he's always clean. Homeboy's just like walks around with an 18 pack and he's absolutely fucking shredded. He's 230 pounds, just pure muscle. Yeah, the man's flexible as hell. Yeah, I put your dick away. I'm <laughs> You are going. so excited talking he, about this yeah, man right now. Muscles. <laughs> That's all I want right now. Muscles. muscles. Mm -hmm. So you, you oh, fucking... <laughs> did you, okay. You got Eli's mug, by the way. I know. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's my mug in my home. <laughs> it's our home, okay? Oh, oh, <laughs> so no. It's called unsubscribe. Like communism out here. Your brain is rolling <laughs> yeah. over in his grave right now. Like, <laughs> we just got to take our baddies lease without him knowing. <laughs> Call my contact his landlord. Yeah, we take just, it out from under. <laughs> Dad, you don't live here. You can yeah, it. it's Brandon's house. <laughs> oh give it to Brandon. He's like, well, why did you do this to me? We, we, the, we warned you, Batty. The worst friends <laughs> <Dave>. ever. <laughs> Dave, I don't even have the rights to my name anymore because unsubscribe owns Batty now. <laughs> <laughs> we take, we fucking copyright you. <laughs> we just start fucking. I don't like how you're laughing right now. <laughs> That's not the fun Eli laugh. That's the, I'm going to actually have legal trouble Eli laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they use unsubscribe money to cancel me. It's terrible. <laughs> Fuck you, baddie. Okay. 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 These are the questions. We were sitting at lunch today. Breakfast, lunch, brunch, lunch, brunch, breakfast, lunch. drinking. Oh, my God. I will say before I go into that story, the server before you guys showed up, I was like, mimosa with a shot of vodka. And she's like. Would you oh, like tattoo girl? Yeah, tattoo girl. And yeah. she was like, "Do you want a?" Um, she asked for a glass of water as decoration. She's like, "Would you like water as decoration?" I was like, "Well, that's one way to call me out for being an alcoholic. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, put that on the table, please." It's like I, oh, I hate this. It's before twelve and I'm drinking. But um, we got to do more podcasts. We get Eli drinking before noon a bunch. Mm -hmm. mm. Make us feel better. One about of it. us. <laughs> One, One of us. us. I have to fucking gym after this. I'm gonna hate life. <laughs> nice. But um, we were talking, and we had like the the hardest part. We were discussing this for podcast is when you get like, buddy, we don't see much, and he comes in, and then it's just awkward silence because you're like, we'll wait an hour to talk about that. Mm. Um, how's the weather? And how was the drive here? Right. What can we discuss? <laughs> But flat, did you do flash animation back in the day? Newgrounds era. This was actually I dropped off to so much Newgrounds porn. Oh, yeah. I hear that a lot. The anime games that mm -hmm. were on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Take your clothes off. You get the answer right. And oh, no, I didn't, yeah. have, so I didn't have internet until I was like 19. 
in college, so I missed that whole wave. Whoa, so you were just Wait, stuck with Mark the... McGuire. It was just you and, and, and Mark and Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Ratchet. And Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, and your mom. Exactly. Crisscross NFL Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Street. I need to know your child. Hold on. How did you not have an internet for 19 years when you're. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, uh, small cattle farming town, so it wasn't super prominent. I had a buddy that had it, but then my mom and dad got divorced, and then I lived like out in like the boondocks. Right. Sticks. Like the sticks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, just didn't have it, so. Yeah, I just didn't know. I mean, like, I would go and you'd go to your friend's house and see shit, but, like, it was, like, nowhere near, like, being able to just sit there and mindlessly jerk off on your own. It's weird. Yeah, when Is that why you can draw you. so good? He just, dra- he's like, I need titties. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm going to find, I'm going to refine my craft. I wish I was. <clears throat> no, a lot of those porn artists, man, they're, they're fucking amazing. No, I just. <laughs> Absolutely. I, they're, they're really good. I I can't draw as good as them, but yeah. I've tried. Yeah, I mean maybe. Yeah, no. I yeah. I don't know. I've never also been interested in drawing like uh porn, I guess. Just titties, titties anime, hentai. Pussy and also, I think pussies are funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> wait, go on on this okay, wait, hold on. We gotta stop and now we go deep dive into this conversation. Why are pussies funny looking? Your name means pussy. I, I didn't mean that. Well, it was a. <laughs> How did you not mean? It was a computer generated name. You're like, there, Meat so Canyon. Like, like Childish Gambino. You just got Meat Canyon. <laughs> yeah. On the same <laughs> level the, of respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the bad roll of the dice there. It's like, well, that one, guess I'm stuck with Meat Canyon. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, Meat Canyon. I never heard of that. And my uh, girlfriend, now wife, was like, that's a really bad name. I was like, ah, I'm just going to stick with it. I'm like, who, who what the fuck even. What's it mean? Especially whenever you're like just starting out, nobody expects to get big or nothing like that. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to leave it. And that's just what it was. And now you're Papa Meat, Meat mm-hmm. Canyon. I don't know where that Papa Meat thing came from. The internet's weird and calls everybody dad or mom. Oh, yeah. I'm daddy I think, donut. I think yeah. especially if you're like kind of older or something. He's call us old. <laughs> don't do that. Well, on, I mean, on the internet, we're, we're, we're like old ancient. men. Yeah. Old, old men. Especially fucking like, ancient. Yeah, I'm the I ancient. If I, if I had my YouTube career now and I was like 17... I'd fucking, man, I'd be a little, little, uh, edge lord sex symbol, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all, those mine, all those Minecraft kids wearing designer clothes and shit like that. I'd be one of them kids. I'd that be, was I'd, your I'd, goal? I'd, yeah, I'd be cultured. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just hope you're like, I was too late to the game. <laughs> I missed my calling. I want to I, do, to I feel a- like, yeah, I feel like, uh, like the, the fat kid waiting for his dad to like pick him up for the baseball game. I'm like, it was just, Bad time and didn't make it. <laughs> didn't get drafted. Didn't didn't get, <laughs> Mark not, McGuire. Not, there's, no, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no draft even. It was like you, you, your name's on the list. You just didn't show up. <laughs> the milk already on your mustache. Yeah, you're just yeah. I was drinking whole milk the whole day. <laughs> you're just waiting. <laughs> you, you have your so cut-off much. shirt on. Mm-hmm. Flex. <laughs> they just everyone's driving by. Oh. <laughs> Can we do got milk poster like for uh, for the podcast sometimes? Sure, that'd be great. Just fucking shit. Shirts like cutoffs and just those old are huge. black and those white. Those are huge back in the day. They, they were massive. massive. They, they don't do them anymore. They right? don't do fucking yeah no. Because they, they just look like jizz on your face. Like it's like just way too creamy, man. Like why is that? Yeah, it did that? not age well. No, that's why that's not a thing. Got milk? It's just white shit on your face. It's like and they used to be like little kids and stuff. It's like oh this is not going a nope. proper direction. Mm-mm. Great posters. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Very. <laughs> Iconic, great posters <laughs> staring at you in your sleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, I loved it. This big Mark just always fucking <laughs> him and his Cardinals. Everybody uniform. was on the same playing field when they were drinking milk. <laughs> <laughs> you got Mark, you got astronauts, you got all sorts of people. Macaulay so. Culkin. <laughs> yeah, Macaulay just Culkin. <laughs> now, when you think about it, it ruins all those posters <laughs> real fast. <laughs> You take one step back, you just put the, the corn hub logo in the bottom right, and you're like, oh, no, this doesn't look good anymore. Well, I, re- I remember around, like, the starting age of memes back in the day, someone took the got milk and actually did got cum, and, like, <laughs> but it was the same, you know, the same picture. Yeah, that's so crea- That's, like, late 90s, early 2000s, perfect level of creativity. Right. Got, got cum. cum. Ah, got him. Because like, it looks like cum. Yeah. <laughs> Upload yeah. this to Kazaa real quick. People will download it. <laughs> take four hours. God, this is before your time. You don't even know Kazaa, do you? Uh, the big ones I remember back in the day before YouTube was Funny Junk and then Albino Black Sheep. Albino Black Sheep. <gasps> Holy fuck. shit. And E-Bombs World. Yeah, I E-bombs. haven't heard those. 
Oh, I, f- I forgot. Played Line Rider on uh, <laughs> yeah, Albino remember, Black Sheep. Funny John, I remember it was like uh, Ends of Z World was a big one, and then like Tourette's Guy and stuff. Those were the two oh, Tourette's big ones. Guy. He died. Did he? Oh. Yeah. No, he didn't. What? Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Mm. Do you have proof? Would you read an article? <laughs> I read several <laughs> articles. That? Man, he came out I hard. I He's like, no, it. fuck you. I don't believe it. He looked at this man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was on his main channel. His son came out and was like, my dad died. Like, <laughs> I want you to look it up right now. Okay? <laughs> oh, this is good. Because I, I, I 100% believe that they thought that he, people thought that he was dead. Maybe He's not dead. And it was a troll. I don't know. You seem pretty compassionate about I do. this. So. <laughs> you you follow your you have a you take off your hoodie he has Tourette's guy it. shirt on he's like I am in the fucking lore of Tourette's guy this is what I live for that Mark McGuire those are my two fucking heroes Don is awkward <laughs> Don is like uh, okay we're gonna Google Tourette's guy I right now I don't know who Tourette's guy is what that was, a, that, does, that was he, a classic meme back in the day that was like early two thousands kind of like do you know Heather ID throat.com? nope damn it. Yes, nice. that's I don't either. Again, this is early two thousand. This is old yeah. guy porn. Yeah, the old guy. This is literally like we're, we're old young, guy. We're porn. young, young bucks here, stallions. I mean, he. You mm. don't know Tourette's guy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> How old are you, Eli? Thirty-seven. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm so the old one. I'm thirty-four. Okay. Batty is your age almost. I'm 32. That's a, that's a very prestigious man you're looking at. Right? <laughs> hey, you know why? Because it's a continuous. It's a continuing story. <laughs> AK is not dead. <laughs> in September 2007, an admin on the Tourette's Guy website so announced that dead. Danny had passed away on not August true. 4th. It was reported that Danny was in a severe car accident, and while Danny survived and got out of the hospital, he died a month later due to complications from the no. accident. Troll post. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. I'm, I legitimately believe that. I'm not even joking. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. You may be right. Here's a because Reddit they, post. Uh, I've seen videos of him where he's older and stuff yeah. like that. Apparently, Tourette's guy death was a hoax. Here's a video he uploaded on December 25th, 2017. Tourette's guy right. lives on, my friend. Yep. We need to get Tourette's guy on the podcast. You don't even know who he I is. I have no idea who the fuck he is. Stop but playing cool. Yeah. I'm not playing well, fuck well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because, because I remember like around the time when, like... when YouTube was picking up, people were uploading his videos, I think. Uh, and it was gaining traction without him because before then I remember on Funny Junk I saw a video, but they were like, oh, there's Tourette'sGuy.com and you would go there and watch the new videos. So I think after a while he was just like, fuck this. I'm out. Okay, Back trying yeah, to monetize like, the internet before you can monetize it. He's got white hair and shit. Yeah. Colgate toothpaste. What did he do? He had that one. My that tits is, look like uh, it's called dirt tits or whatever. He had so many good sayings. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Bob Saget. Yeah, Bob Saget. <laughs> when he's mowing the yard. I do feel like I'm at like uh, like my middle school lunch table. <laughs> <laughs> when yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's people awkwardly like re, uh, re like saying lines from things they like. But kind of wrong. <laughs> yeah, super wrong at this point. It's been fucking it thirty was, years. I, I hate I hate being the aficionado of the press guy. But he says, "Oh, Dad, that's a Mickey Mouse T-shirt." And he says, "That's not Mickey Mouse. That's tit dirt." Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, so, so then I, I so then I have to be the pretentious dickhead. Yeah, bro, who's like, guys, you're that one up. Guy. I'm like, guys, please. <laughs> You're, if you're we're gonna talk about it, then let's <laughs> talk about it. Yeah, yeah. And now we're inviting Hunter back again, by the way. Colgate Tuesday. I'm not on a lot of podcasts. <laughs> Made me feel <laughs> for a reason. Like ass. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about all of that. I just like you know it was so good. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a big part of my childhood. I didn't have internet. That was the thing too, is like whenever you saw something on the internet back then, especially if your like friends are laughing at it, it was so much more impactful too. I think like viewers, like young viewers of YouTube and TikToks and stuff now probably feel where it's like so like, uh, I don't know, impactful on your young life. You know what I mean? But it feels weird because then back then it was like there was so few. You really had to like dig for shit. To oh, there's do things. A, there's a bunch of trash. I remember like, was it Monkey versus Robot was one of my. I don't remember that one. Dude, that is fucking like. I don't remember that one. I'll have to show it after. That is fucking <laughs> late. You kind of said something there that that. Honestly, still really sits today too. It's like you have a bunch of people that just like they hear a thing and that that is now part of their like life. Like you guys remember your Tourette's guy fucking saying, I don't know who the fuck that is though, but for you that had an impact on you. You see that in a Twitch chat because or like 
I joke about how much I like White Claw. We would we did a BRCC opening one day, and I went to this way, and I had like eight people show up with cases of White Claw, just like, bro, you like White Claw, and, it was, and it's just like, and then they say the things like that I've joked about on the podcast, or some of the sayings and shit like that, and it's like, it's the same thing. Like you, you, you've made a, an impact on somebody. You've you've made an impression that 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 person has connected with on such a level. It's crazy to be on the opposite side of it. Well, that's the inherent. That's like the interesting thing that I think is like <clears throat> super interesting about today is because I think back then it was less about no one gave a fuck who the real Tourette's guy was. It was just the like the character mm-hmm. and like that video. Now it's all personality based, and a lot of the jokes and content itself is like easily forgettable. And you can think like TikTok and that kind of shit for that. Just where constantly it's, scrolling, it's just, scrolling, people, scrolling. Know, I think I do think there's like an inherent difference between like the cesspool that's YouTube versus the cesspool that's TikTok. Cause I think YouTube, you have to consciously click on a video and be like, Oh, okay, well what's this versus TikTok? It's a never ending stream of just like consume, forget, consume, forget, consume, forget. And I think that's like uh, why uh, personality based stuff sticks with people so much because people get invested into people not so much like, I mean, like Characters. content, obviously, yeah, but like absolutely. people are like, oh, I like this person. And it's like friend simulator. The entire internet's friend simulator now, it feels like, you know. Mm-hmm. I never looked at it like that because yeah. you look at there is not much character based programs anymore. You had like AVGN and these people back in the day that crushed at that, but it got phased out. Like AVGN now has one episode, but his main stuff is now just like James Rolfe or. Whoever it is. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely the beginning of, like, people were like, oh, fuck, I like this character. I want this character to talk about this or that, which is why I think Twitch is so interesting and cool because it's, like, so catered. The internet has been, like, divided into, like, all these different subcategories where it's, like, not so much. Like, there was a conversation, I think, at one point where people were like, oh, is that too niche? And that conversation is completely gone. gone. Because now it's just like people are like, they I know what niche. I want. Uh, people like, if you're in that niche, people want you to thrive in that niche. And then like you can branch out of that. But it's, I think that's where people like get their initial fan bases or people find like people that they enjoy to watch or yeah. do all uh, thing as like, right. as like a form of like a, an escape or something like that. Have you seen my hydraulic pressure and watch it crow stuff? <laughs> 80 million subs later. You're like, oh, this is the thing. Okay, that's great. And you're like. That's fucking so, so weird how the internet them. works. It dude, it, but it's crazy. You just get to see that They're catering shit. to some audience there, man. I still don't know how dude, dude perfect still gets crazy views. Mm. Do they still fucking crush it? They have I, during Texas. Did you have you ever tried to collaborate with them, Donut? No, we haven't. Even, we've never talked. Did to them demo? Before. Dem- demo has done something with them before. Did he? Demolition Ranch. Yeah, I'm almost I think positive. He's done something. Well, somebody in our group did something with them. I remember seeing a post. If it was anyone, it was demo. I thought they would be probably because I think that they're kind of like up your guys' alley a bit. Maybe I think and just oh, in terms yeah. of like murder, gun and yeah, murder <laughs> butt, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, butt stuff. <laughs> Mark McGuire. Yeah, Mark McGuire. Like I said. <laughs> I fucking love that. They love Mark. I think they're in the Dallas area, maybe or something. I can't remember, but they have a huge like huge warehouse thing. Like oh, I guarantee that thing's fucking yeah. massive. Mm-hmm. Just a bunch of good Christian boys. <laughs> they just, are. They, yeah, they're all like. Well, I tried. I tried getting a. Uh, I tried going to a live show. And I, uh, I was like, oh, I'm going to make this a video because I was like, it'd be really funny to go to the Dude Perfect live show and just get like totally, I got fu- like really fucked up. And I was like, <laughs> and I was oh, like this is why we get along. <laughs> and I was like, nice. oh, I'll go in there. And then I like had like four or five Frisbees with me and I was just going to try to do like trick shot stuff like Nerf. I think I had like three Nerf basketballs and like four Frisbees, like really nothing, like just stupid. I mean, I was <laughs> drunk, you know. <laughs> Just grabbing shit like yeah, they, 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 they your wa- let me in. <laughs> your wife's trying to be your seventy-five dollar ticket. I think I'm on. You're on my cord. Or the oh. table's on my cord. There we go. Sorry. I picture your wife trying to be your voice of reasoning as you're like packing nerf shit. <laughs> She's like, babe, uh, you're drunk. You're drunk, babe. Shh. Well, it was a very crystal clear plan when you're sober. Like, oh, a little meme here, a little meme there. <laughs> But then you like get just absolutely fucked, and then you're just like throwing frisbees at like the wall of like the stadium, and they're still at stadiums. That's like the crazy thing. You like, 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 like a event center, well, not event centers or whatever, like coliseum mm-hmm. kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. But it's crazy. Roy they Metallica literally... plays. It's they like sell them out. Tuesday, uh, dude, perfect on Thursday. You're like, that's crazy. And they sell out. It's like Game Grumps does that. Fucking, they do those Game Grumps lives or whatever mm-hmm. where they do the drawing and stuff like that, and they sell those out. I like, still can't believe Ego Raptors part of Game Grumps. Like it just doesn't in my head. 
That, uh, I can't. Savannah did. She was like, can't. babe, have you ever watched? She's been watching Game Grumps with me. And then she was like, have you ever seen these videos called Metal Gear Awesome? And she was like <laughs> showing me ego after stuff of the like, point which i was there when was, the dark magic was written yeah. i was like baby like, you, baby do you not know who this is ego raptor i was like listen to the voice i don't know who that is he's a game grumps dude <clears throat> you probably see one of his oh you yeah. absolutely that's yeah i remember even like that was like uh that's og when new ground people were coming to youtube yeah. i remember like the first two things i ever saw was like uh the the pokemon video he did where yeah. it was like <laughs> pikachu versus bulbasaur or whatever and then, uh, yeah, Such a like, classic. Classic. where he's like, oh, fuck, that yeah, hurts. Yeah, yeah. He's like rolling around on the ground. Pikachu. Just use fucking solar beam <laughs> yeah. blast or something. I, got, I don't even yeah, have to okay, ask okay. you. Yeah, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I got Gears of Awesome burned in my head forever. I'm doing their coal train choo choo as they're fucking flying <laughs> through the air and shit. Like, I'm never going to forget that shit. Yeah, huge, huge, impactful pieces of like internet history. I think people will, they'll go down for a long time. I think all those Newgrounds guys will. Oh, yeah. They're incredible. Oh, those are the OGs. What got, like, uh, since you didn't do Newgrounds, that was past your time. Like, mm. actually, I want to ask them, what do you think was an impactful cartoon in his childhood that defined his character art and who he is as an artist? Those are so many words. Hmm. Well, I, I'm now I got Mark McGuire in my head, but... Correct. So baseball, got it? <laughs> no, you won. No, <laughs> you Mark just started Mark drawing, you just sit staring at him. I just picture you looking around, you look up, he's like, oh. Yeah, Mark so McGuire, milk Sammy milk. Sosa, and fucking like Jason Giambi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we're just going to leave out Barry Bonds? Yeah. You don't do don't be Barry yeah, like fuck that. Barry. <laughs> fuck Barry, dude. Are you a sports guy? Uh, a don't bit. play this game with me. I'll go OG. I'll, I'll, I'll throw down. <laughs> I'll look around like Donut like does that. most of the podcast. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Confused. Sports, cool. Sports ball. I have like four years of baseball that I will just from like 98 to like 2002. That's all I got. King that, Griffey that Jr. Right there. Yeah. That's the only one I got. You did good. King Griffey Jr.? Yeah, I know him. Good game. King Griffey <laughs> Jr. Slugfest. <laughs> have it on Nintendo 64. Nice. Good game. Yep. I like playing as Mo Vaughn in the Anaheim Angels. Yep. <laughs> You're like, bro, his batting average. Have you seen it? You hit that fucking left corner of the fucking box, the swingy circle, you'll hit it the every fucking circle. Sir, I, <laughs> 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 Wait, he's the one calling uh, names out for a game. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good game. <laughs> it was a good game. It I loved it. Remember playing against your friends on that, the pitcher and the batter, and it was just like. Anger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anger. that and like NFL Blitz, those were the two. Oh, dude, like, Blitz, yeah. Dude, oh, Blitz, oh my God. Just nothing but Hail Marys, that's it, the entire <laughs> time. What else are you going to do, man? What the fuck am I doing? The WWE of fucking football games. Just, just power bomb. Slamming power power yeah. bomb. Yeah, speaking of, dude, Revenge on 64. Remember that WWF Revenge? Oh, yeah, WWE, that WWE, F, yeah, that was WWF, WWF Revenge. Revenge or was, WCW. Was that the black cartridge? I, I have one so. of them. I don't know which one I have. I have one of the the wrestling ones in the black card. I think I uh, think that's apparently it. all of like the PS3. Like there's like one PS3 wrestling game that's like kind of valuable now. Like I think it like it always sells for like over like seventy bucks or something like that. Mm -hmm. Dude, some of those old games. I so I actually, the wrestling games are weird. Yeah, they just have they hold value really well. Apparently, I collect. Um, I have like Xeno Gear still in the wrapper. Final Fantasy VII still in the wrapper. Metal Gear, Wee. World of War, World of Warcraft Collector's Edition. That's, that's my most. Cool. Yeah, that's like twenty grand right now. It's just sealed. Why? Because open it. it's worth twenty grand now. Dead game. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, open it, dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> these are, you better play before they like they shut down the servers. <laughs> but I've always collected these old games. Ever this is I started this in like early two thousand. Safest suppressors, fucking Russian ammo, and then old games. <laughs> yeah, like, that's it. I just like fucking old. Like I love fucking old games. I, I love like old game games. Game. You love fucking <laughs> yeah old, and old games. Know. What cartoon? What his art style? Because mm. I have my Curse guess. the cowardly dog. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good True. one. That see, that's a good. I would go Ren and Stimpy. <clears throat> a little bit. Courage was definitely way more like old, old like Cartoon Network, old like Hanna Grimm Barbera and, shit, right? Is that no. Hanna Barbera? Is that what? Is Am it? I an eighty-five-year-old man? <laughs> <laughs> 
that, 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 that shit on Batty. Look shit on Batty. Look shit on Batty. Shit on Dave. Shit on Dave. Shit. Nah. The Jetsons. Hey, didn't didn't you wake up in the morning and meet and fucking watch the Jetsons? What about the Flintstones? Did that inspire you as an artist? But the fucking Dave over here. Don't. But the. That's why you're a guest. Group Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Ooh, that was a good one. That kind of stuff. Oh, okay. I remember I made my Courage tune uh, like, God, almost three years ago at this point, and I, I have a message like John Dillsworth, who's the guy? You ready oh, to ahead. fuck? You ready to fuck, boys? Mm-hmm. Okay. Powerpuff Girls, I Am Weasel, Cow and Chicken. That was that was Johnny Bravo, Cave Kids, The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest, Dexter's Laboratory, like Dumb and Dumb. Fuck off, okay? See, no, I'm. Where's Captain your show? Planet. Where's your show at? I'm in my show. Dave, Dave, stop. Oh. <laughs> Just, <laughs> You can make fun of him. We always do it. He's a He's guest. right when he's right. <laughs> uh, sure. He's right there. You're right there. You can, you can tell me Cow and Chicken. I just remember Hanna-Barbera was definitely a thing where it was like, oh, the classic tunes are on. Yeah. That was like the Hanna-Barbera hour. I yeah. just remember the real, the Cartoon Network version of that for like mm. Cow and Chicken and uh, uh, I like Weasel specifically. Cow and Chicken, I just like the devil he like bounced on his ass. Oh, oh his my God, I forgot about that. On, everything mm-hmm. had fat asses on Cow and Chicken. That was a That's weird. That's a no-go but anymore. It was huge too. I think like it became more like uh, Spawn became really big. I really liked uh, Todd McFarlane. He used to do like the whole panels mm. of like uh, just like folds of skin and like mm. te- gums and all that kind of stuff. Dude, and then Violator, he, like how he drew yeah, yeah. Violator oh, and, and, and the clown, guys, yeah. like even the clown mm, itself. Yeah. It was just like that grotesque artwork. And then I got more into like underground stuff or like underground, but like still kind of like pop culture comic stuff with, like R. Crumb. It's like a big stuff. If you guys ever heard of him, he did like Fritz the Cat. Mm-hmm. And oh, yep. Or stuff. But he also had like, he was just a big underground comics guy too. But then it was just like more underground shit that like led into like love for Adult Swim stuff, which was like inevitably led into like Aqua Teen and like Metal Ocalypse and that kind oh, of stuff. Metal Ocalypse was so good. That so- became that kind of stuff. And then after that in college, it was like, oh, I want to work in a studio system. But then with like my introduction to the internet, I became very fascinated with like, all of like you know fucking Oni, uh, fucking Ego Raptor, Spaz, like all those classic guys yep. mm-hmm. and stuff. And then it sucked too inevitably, which I was actually a huge fan of Flash Gets now, and we're buddies and like we work together and shit, and they're they're great too. But it became like a, everyone's like, oh, YouTube's dead for that stuff, you know, YouTube's dead for animation, and I was like, ah, oh, well, you know. Fuck YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And then whenever I started doing, I'm just going to, I guess this is turned into like a weird history thing. No, but, I have, this is fucking the most This is, people are going to be happy. I'll, I'll no, like people, like, people, it's boring, people but, love, no, this no, is okay, what well, people love. Just say come. And come. Perfect. There no, we okay. go. But the, uh, I was just g- gaining traction, not like gaining traction in the sense of like you have, I had like 200 followers and I got up to like 5,000. I was like, oh, this is cool. I'm seeing growth in my Instagram. And Instagram was like 60 second max video square format. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to make 60 second bullshit, like really minimal stuff, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then I did some tunes and I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll, you know what? I'll just upload. I'll upload them to YouTube because who cares? Like everybody says it's dead anyways. And then one of them was that Pinocchio video. And then like three weeks after that Pinocchio video hit, it was like woke up one day and it was like, I think I had like 30,000 subs or something like that. And the video was like, just like skyrocketing. But then I coincidentally enough through like professional work, well, professional work that I've done. I worked on this really, uh, the show called uh, for Facebook watch. And then one of them was like a story time animator. And they were like, Oh, I wish I would have, whenever my video popped, I wish I would have like capitalized on the algorithmic push. But I waited too long and I like missed my wave or something. So I kept that in mind. So as soon as that Pinocchio thing I saw was like hitting, I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to try to like make a tune every two or three weeks. And that's what I've been doing for like the past couple of years. Pinocchio is at 28 million now. By the way, that's, oh, like that's what awesome <laughs> yeah, like, like, that now? Because that was the first, the first time I was ever introduced to you. Is that the algorithm actually pushed that onto the front page for me? Super, uh, yeah. I hit like Reddit and all that kind of stuff. It's like so, it's so. Sh- I love going back and looking at like. I feel like everybody takes in off. terms of, uh, or I, like more so like not only like quality, but just like a bunch of like little things. like Evolution of how you started it versus where you're at. Yeah, I think that people lose sight a lot of time. I get very depressed about like fucking YouTube shit and like analytical bullshit and all that kind of stuff, imposter syndrome and everything. And it's cool to look back at those tunes when it was like kind of just me working on them and being like, God, these look terrible. 
but they still people are like interested in them now and like the amount of like effort we put into them now it's like it's like a nice uh reality check of being like you're doing good well like as i i i, I will be i'm a fucking i'm i don't i'm terrible at watching a lot of content it's not my thing like i watch some shit but like watching even my friends content is it's the longer form it's like 10 30 minutes i'm like fuck okay mm. i'll watch some of it but a lot of it goes under the radar just because of fucking doing a billion things yours we share your shit i'm like have you I seen the new about, video talk about it when yeah we, I, like, when we first moved to texas me we'd all be sitting at cody's house pissed drunk sitting on his couch laughing going through have you seen the new one yeah literally and cool. still to this day <laughs> i mean even on your fucking um i'm um, 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 not uh the last one wait hold on my fucking alcoholic mexican brain not working right now don't be racist to yourself stop i'm allowed to be dexterity is my dump stat um wait i'm gonna remember the last one you just did stop stop eli you fucking got the this. alzheimer's is setting in it is oh it is at my <laughs> age Grandpa's this is weird is dying <laughs> like i love your stuff what's We're my last video the actual evolution of the pope, Eli's pope last you know Pinocchio. the dvds <laughs> have, like old school dvd menus like <laughs> yeah oh you know, yeah the corners where eli's one <laughs> it's, just, brain cell it's loading and it's like oh, oh no he missed oh, <laughs> yeah, it is going Another every which way. fucking tangent of eli's screeching woody ah! <laughs> there it is you got it see woody like uh, it's that shit nope. Huh? That wasn't his last one. What was the last one? Woody was just the one we just... That's not his last one. My last one I did was... Uh, I did this, like, troll post, which it didn't do very well. I oh, thought that not that one. Okay, excluding... I'm talking about the art one. What? What? Wait, you're talking about Elden Rings. No, no, before that, it was the McRib one I did, yeah. Oh, my God, you're right. Fuck, and we just shared that, too. God, I'm an idiot. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, no, that's I mean, what It kind of matters. It, it matters. does. I'm it's a fine. piece of insulted. shit. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm a piece of shit. Dave over here is right. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a shirt that just says like Dave. Call me Dave. Dude, that's your name. It's just name tag no, Dave. it's just a name tag right here. It's a shirt with the name. I'm Dave. I fucking hate it so much. I forget. Okay, yeah. Fuck, man. God damn it. Hey, like, Which, calm down. It's okay. No, Honey, it's, it's okay. no. I feel it like happens. a piece of it's shit natural. right now. It's good. I'm so sorry. Doing First right. off, you were so handsome, okay. and the McRib stop came back. The guest. Eli, stop touching the no. guest. No, and Please. that's always a comment. They're like, why does Eli touch the guest? Because this. This is called physical contact, and some people like it's it. It's making him uncomfortable. I can see it. It's, it's a McDonald's, am I right? It just hard cuts to us making out. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> you guys so like, uh. He's trying to make out with our guest again. We're sorry. This is, we, we need to, I don't want to say. Can we switch and make sure Eli doesn't sit next to the guest anymore? No, the guests <laughs> like sitting over here. Then they had to sit next to Dave. Can I no. do Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Dave. That's, okay, that's fine. No, that was uh, the fucking McDonald's. Uh, well, Elden Rings. The uh, the ball strong. <laughs> that was really fucking good. Gold. The I, what? The one where you drew people as bosses in Elden Elden Rings. Oh yeah. Well, the, did you see the? Channel? I did an actual Elden Ring. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, the Charlie Slay Nib. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I was. That's oh, the one I was talking, was talking about. about. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the one I'm oh, talking okay. about. I thought that. Well, the whole thing too is like I didn't brand it like a meat cannon cartoon because no, I really wanted. Oh, that was perfect. I really wanted people to feel like they could share it to their friends. And be like, hey, did you miss this item? <laughs> and then actually be able to like do like a fun troll poster for people and shit. Oh, you did good. You did yeah. fucking good. It's been, it's been cool. And Halupi, who was the uh, a 3D guy on that too, he's just phenomenal. If you guys ever. Uh, you should check him out on YouTube. He's great. Give What's it a plug. Give him a plug. H O O L O P E E. Loopy. A loopy. Yes, that, that was that was so fun. Good. Who came up with that? Was that Charlie or you? That had that put it in. There. I did. Well, I did, and I just messaged Charlie because I was like, man, this Elden Ring thing. I was like, I don't really know if I want to make a cartoon about it, but I was like, it'd be really fun to see if we couldn't like make something that could pass off as like an actual person in game but i needed validity with it because i'm not a gaming channel so i thought oh i'll have charlie do it because he's been he makes like seven fucking elden ring videos a day true mm -hmm. true <laughs> so, then, so then i was like oh i'll have him do this thing and then people will like the thumbnail might be different but people will watch it and just kind of like be like the youtube fuck like is this a charlie video and then and then when if people share it out of context people will be like oh okay this is just like Moist critical, like a moist critical video. Yep. Uh, doing that's, its that's thing. That's how I saw it. Literally. So yeah, we superimposed them in there and stuff. And it wasn't until like, it was like trying to like lure people in to be like, what the f fuck is this like a really a monster in here? And until it gets into the cinematic scene where we like 
Or being really yeah, the stupid. The first person. Shoving the fucking. Yeah. I will yeah. say, I was wondering, I was like, wait, how the fuck did they get, like, because I come from VFX background mm-hmm. and I do three, like, I was impressed. I was like, wait, how the fuck? Okay. Did they redo the fuck? Okay. I was like breaking it down in my head. I was like, this is fucking good. And then the voice acting. So I was like, well, meat can you roll? Oh, <laughs> I was like, this is Papa yeah, meat. No, it was really, it was really easy. It's actually kind of easy to impose the 3d model in there. And like yeah, 3d tracking right yeah, now. The motion me. tracking in there was really simple. But then like, also you already have like the game with the footage you record, you have like the light source and stuff. So you're able to like track the light source that way as well. Mm. And it's really easy to like texture them kind of similar to the game, which isn't like the most intense graphics ever ever Mm -hmm. either. So you can kind of pull back a little bit on it, but no, I mean like I thought that it like, and then like the way with using like the super like weird old crystals was kind of a callback to like seventies, like D and D like really cheesy nerdy stuff. But it was like, it felt oddly believable until you're just like, this is just a lie. Until it's literally shoving them yeah, as like, you're it's rubbing like your thing and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Cause I was so into it. I've been, you know, we're all obsessed with Elden Ring right now mm-hmm. and I've watched a ton of Charlie's videos and I was watching. I'm like, what a new item! An item no one's discovered. Same. Charlie's not lying. Oh, this is awesome. This is gonna That's be so I cool. Yeah, I, so I didn't like, like the it game. Pulled I was like, everybody in. I was like, this is gonna be an OP thing for me. Hey, right, maybe I'll like it. Not Dave's game. And I think that it got. I think it got. <laughs> I think that there's just so much Elden Ring content right now, especially like gaming stuff. That I think it got buried a bit. But I'm hoping that. I saw some people that understood where they're just like, oh, yeah, I missed this guy a bunch and stuff. And people were just like, I have not seen this guy. Because, like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. here looking for yeah, him. So it's like, uh, it, it's fun to like feel like people actually were like believing it or got tricked or something like that. But uh, yeah, it just, I, I, I think maybe if I would have done it like a couple of weeks earlier, it, may, it maybe would have hit a little bit harder. But for now, I, I think it's I just kind of fucking funny. cruising right now. Like you're crushing with it, like numbers wise. <laughs> Last time I looked, I was like, this is a fucking solid ass piece of content. It, as I was saying with the guys, like it drew me in. I was like, Wait, I did I miss up? What Cody is this? Immediately sent it to me. Yeah, all like, of us. I was like, AK I guy sent it to this. me. I had so many people fucking DM it. To me. Oh, <laughs> I was like, this is fucking great. Like you get this item, Eli. Was it the French tickler? <laughs> what was no, the yeah, item called? I think it's like the el- like the elvish tickler. Or something. Yeah, the elvish tickler. <laughs> it's, it's like, like, a, most it's like a duster. I think is what we used or something like that. <laughs> it was so well done. That's the sh- I'm like, oh god damn! I get jealous of your brain. I'm like fuck, you have such hey. a sexy brain. I love your brain, damn. bro. And now, <laughs> you are fuck. <laughs> oh my god. You direct your stuff. So how is it working with other artists when it comes to the idea of doing like is animation? This, is this is this gonna be interesting? I feel like this is gonna be so boring. Is it is it interesting? Just I don't say know. comment right now and then I'll be fine. Okay. Dude, people people uh, the weirdest thing is people love di- this shit. Directing online stuff. Come. <laughs> <laughs> there, see? Oh, they're happy. Yeah. Yeah. He said come. No, I mean it's 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 fine. I mean it's 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 cool directing stuff. It's it's a very fine balance. Because I think, like, I don't know, dude, I'm such a fucking douchebag, like, artist. <laughs> See, you just idiot. made like, it better. Like, you're, you're wanting to, like, progress, nice. and you're wanting to be, like, taken seriously, but at the end of the day, I'm making, like, really cringy fucking <laughs> parody stuff that kids are probably, like, uh, you know, like, <laughs> seizing over or something like that, so who gives a fuck, but... You know somebody's jerked <laughs> off to your art, like... No, I, like hope, to, 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 I would rather hear that somebody's jerked off and to completion to my art than, yeah. like, a, than, like... A group of like third graders enjoying it. Like I would rather have an adult man be like, I came watching to do your video than hear, hear that, that like, chat or fucking comments, YouTube comments. Put the who's jerked off. Oh well, yeah, kids. one if you've jerked off. Just, just, a, just a hands up emoji. Yeah. That's just yeah, hands up emoji. Yeah. There we go. That's what we need to see in the comments. Yeah, if you're on your desktop, get off, re-log back in on your phone. <laughs> Obviously on a private browser <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. on your phone. Yo, yeah, smash what? that one button with your cum. <laughs> 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 but uh <laughs> yeah no, i mean it's fine it, the, the turnaround is very demanding and i think that's like what makes it so fucking difficult because it's like uh you're constantly trying to outdo yourself and like you're comparing all your last tunes to shit and it's like it's fucking difficult man it's like uh if a tune doesn't perform as well as the last thing and then you're like fuck people are well my my time in the sun is over or whatever mm-hmm. but it's also just, just like, well, literally, uh, yeah. Bro, yeah. every day on Twitch, I'm like, man, this is a bad day on Twitch. Well, nah. yeah, no, like, yeah, it's like, uh, which I imagine is fairly normal for everybody, but I just know for it's the creator brain, absolutely for, for the uh, 
for the cartoon aspect of it, it's just so much like, dude, that's man, hard. so much, so much like time and effort goes into like making something for people to enjoy for like two minutes. So it's like, if you can't get something in two minutes, like cringe. Or something like that. <laughs> the one word that just destroys your. You have a thousand positive that, comments and one yeah, kid yeah, saying there's cringe. So many people who are like so kind, so unbelievably kind. But you and still nice. pin the cringe. <laughs> like, oh, I look at one thing where they're just like, oh, did anyone like? It's like, or they'll like, it's like, uh, what is it? It's like viewer affirmation or something where it's like the one thing that you're like, fuck, I hope no one like. You're, you're like nobody notices notice this one thing. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like uh, you're, you're, you're like very self conscious about one thing, and then they like latch onto that, and you're just like, I'm a piece of shit. Like this is the fucking <laughs> like being called Brandon thing. every day when yeah, I log yeah. onto my Twitch stream now, or having your guest or host call you Dave. Yeah, yeah. This is your house. One in chat of baddies gone. <laughs> you, know, even, even, you can have an episode where you get to stay in here, and then they're on the porch outside, and you get to like you can just like talk like through the through the wall. They're not allowed in the house anymore. We want an episode that performs. No, oh, there you go. <laughs> Dave, let us in. <laughs> God, <laughs> <It's> horrible. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's funny, guys. <laughs> He's like, I take it as a joke because it's a joke, right, guys? Right? Yeah, I love Woodford Reserve. Okay, now on. Uh, I forgot we haven't discussed this. Superpowers. Do you know how we? Oh play? my god! Do you know we how we? About the superpowers. I know. I guarantee, like uh, the people are just been waiting. They're like, why the fuck are they still talking? Mm -hmm. They haven't talked about superpowers yet. That's all we give a fuck about. Honestly, yeah. We all do, Batty. You should have got four shot glasses so we could have done a shot together. Jesus Christ! Jesus fucking Christ, if Dave! If you want to do that, we can. Oh, Dave, go get up. Shall we shot now? Oh, cheers, cheers, cheers bitches! Thanks for having me, yeah. dude. You're. Oh. I can live with that. Mm. Merch, beautiful. I love it. When's it go live? You don't know. That's amazing. I don't know. Do you not have a merch store? I got a new one. It's new merch. It's coming. What meant? It's coming, but like, I have one currently, but I don't really. It's like, uh, it's kind of like one of those things where you have to continuously be like, oh, you have two weeks to buy this, and it just feels fucking like parasitic and the whole FOMO. So this strategy. is pretty crazy. We know this merch guy here in uh, here in Texas. That's demo or bunker branding. They they do this thing where they make stuff. Demo um, uh, demolition ranch. Bunker branding. Oh, you know that. Yeah, all all of Heard our merch. Yeah, you know, all demo? Of our merch goes through Demolition Ranch. Mm -hmm. Demos Demo Ranch. Uh, fucking Matt character. He's the Tim Mills. Like he crushes like the Tim Mills. What? Tim million subscribers on one channel. He like one of his channels. on one channel. Yeah. He crushes and then he has the game. Five million on his vlog channel. He crushes the and game. He's got four million on his veterinarian channel. He like, and every video does at minimum like you're looking at two mil. But he started Bunker Branding. He does all our merch. Look at that face. That's what is this guy? Was he a social media guy? <laughs> <laughs> but he fucking. What's his name? <laughs> uh, Demolition Ranch. No, his real name. Oh, Matt Carricker. Yeah. Carricker. Yeah, we we yeah. only use fake names here. I'm <laughs> or yeah. Dave. Matt Carricker. Eli. Cody. Oh, sorry. The I'm just call him Matt Car Character. Character. <laughs> Got the, the kindest person. Yeah, he's like the kindest person ever. But he does Very all our merch. Family. Like he does merch for. No, he's he, they, they've talked nothing but nice things. I just you know, do try it. to spice it up a bit. Yeah, maybe there should be a one room, one person room who doesn't like him. There, be there you, you be the I'll, heel. I'll be, the, I'll be that guy. Oh, okay, I've never liked him. <laughs> You're the heel. You're the heel. <laughs> we hate Maddie. You hate Matt for no given I'm at reason. One time Wait, what reason. Sorry. What do you mean? <laughs> I hate Batty so much I don't even want to talk around. <laughs> There's some comments. People were like, "What? Don't you ever notice when Batty's on the podcast, Donut doesn't talk very much?" <laughs> I will say you've been very like this the whole time. <laughs> Body language says a lot. <laughs> even your hand right now is blocking Batty's presence. <laughs> we're, we're, so we just get a divider right here. <laughs> it's a separate Bro, podcast. Taking a test. <laughs> Goddamn Sarah McGoughlin and fucking save the baddies by the end of this fucking podcast. Jesus Christ. For three cents a day, you too can help save a baddie. Make him love himself. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Okay. Hate it here. Superheroes. The I cannot wait for this is now. <sighs> okay. Let's ask you, what would your, what would your favorite superpower be? If you could get one just out the gate, you're like, bam, this is mine. 
Man, I don't know. Fluck, play this at negative 14 times speed so it's even slower. Go. I, I, I've never thought about it. I'm, I'm, I really don't know. What could I realistically do that I would no, do? No, no, not realistically. Super. We're talking if you were you like can the do No, no, no. I'm saying even if I had a superpower, what would I enjoy? Dude, you could it's smell not, dead people? Huh? <laughs> so why what? So, I can so smell Heather, it. Heather's superpower she picked she could smell corpses. That why? was her. I, that's you, right. We yeah, all that's asked what that. We're all like, what? Like, that's I a very, strength. That's a very pungent smell. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a it's like fucking, everyone can smell corpses. called no. a retarded superpower. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't good. It wasn't a good one. Yeah, we were like, that's what you're going for out of so everything. So just to bring it up, Eli has super nope. speed. Oh, 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 oh. No, we're in the jump. Just, just that. Nah, that's nice. I like the it's just super speed. The, Eli can, I, can, I can fly. Yeah, Detection. Eli can fly, mm -hmm. and okay. I have I have super strength. Well, okay. you, got, you got the Avengers marketed here. Huh? I mean, uh -huh. so what would yeah. you, again? You what would your what do you want to do? <laughs> He's know, like, where's this go? <laughs> you know, mine would be. I'm just gonna say invisibility. Oh uh, no, Ridge got that. So Sorry, it's the next one. I can't take that. No. <laughs> <laughs> that genetic. We're building out the mark. Mm -hmm. We're building out I our. I want to be Mister. I want to be able to stretch. Ooh, oh my okay. god! That's a okay. New one. okay, so now we have to decide the secondary here's the negative thing. thing with your superpower. Well, you've never seen. Well, I was wondering about this. <laughs> if Mister Fantastic, who stretches, <laughs> if he sat there and if he imagine if he was an overweight man, <laughs> that stretching would be a lot crazier, <laughs> right? You have so much more extra skin. He'd be way more versatile mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now I, the stretch marks on my stomach <laughs> resemble i would say a river map of missouri <laughs> so to see that stretched and inflamed would be quite glorious and i feel like i could actually truly help the world with stopping crime this is the first time missouri's ever been helpful <laughs> since, I guess since ever yeah. since ever that's where i'm from and that's why I, that's, that's why i always say river map of missouri <laughs> Because I'm from, yeah, Kearney, Missouri. <laughs> okay, so, so all these superpowers, you have your superpower. You have your super, your stretching your ability. Super stretch. Yeah, Eli I stretch. Has speed. No, 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 no. We, we, let's, we start with Donuts because Donut no, no, has I very mean, he much is, the he's best. He's the leader of the Offenders. That is our superhero group name, the Offenders. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, there's always a downside to your power, though. So, like mine, I can fly, but while I'm flying, I have to shout racial slurs. <laughs> So when he, <laughs> I can't fly otherwise. So right, imagine so. him saving a, like a burning house of my minorities. He f he's gonna walk in and he's just gonna be like, "Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna walk you down the steps." And they're like, "Why? Just fly us out. You can fly." He's like, "No, ah, uh, you don't do want that. me to do this, are, really? Like, are you sure <laughs> this is my thing? You and me fly right now because it's just like me." <laughs> or I fly into the building and they don't want to be saved anymore. Yeah, they're like, like oh, just get away from us. It's that cop. <laughs> what's, your, what's your negative then? Uh, I have super strength, but every time I like use that strength, I just start coming everywhere, just uncontrollably, uh, just constantly jizzing. Okay. So our invisible friend Rich, his was he has to be masturbating the entire. Anytime he's invisible, he has to do this. That's how he becomes invisible. He so has to be masturbating. Like missions or anything, you just hear like. And he wears clogs. <laughs> so, it's just clogs. What's yours, though? I have super speed. I can travel with speed a lot. I just shit uncontrollably anytime I unlock that ability. Okay. Uh, so now we need to find hunters. The meat canyons. That I can stretch. What would be a negative about stretching? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That's this... about need about stretching. You just be like a mundane, like... You shit yourself. What's a negative? <laughs> yeah, just like... What, just yeah. a terrible thing that would be super unfortunate if you were also a... I love I don't yes. know superhero, but like you know, I'm trying to think of something that's applicable applicable to my life that would be negative that yeah. I that I don't do. Yeah, currently. Oh, <laughs> which I'm gonna that, say. That I, assume, already I assume you. that I I have I, like, I have to no, hold on. I have to beat my wife into a bloody pulp <laughs> before I can domestic be, abuse before I can before I can start stretching. <laughs> now let's be honest. Let, let's hold on. This is like I said. This is this is something that I have that I don't do normally. So that, this is this is we're talking about super, my super power. I don't I don't I don't normally do this. That's not something I do normally. Uh, <laughs> to be very clear, he does not do this. Two black eyes, three chip teeth. That's what activates my stretch. And I, the whole time I'm like, I'm so sorry, baby. 
I said, <laughs> there's a house on fire. I'm sorry. Yes. Black. <laughs> the orphans are, bah, bah, bah. She's blind, <laughs> legally blind in both eyes now because okay, we have more, real quick. Does it have to be your significant other, or could it just be like you got <laughs> no, 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 mistresses, no, I like the mistresses, God. girlfriends, <laughs> there we go. Okay. nieces, nephews, <laughs> anybody close to me? I just picture I them in the hell. Somebody you care about them. needs to be hit in the face <laughs> for your stretch. The orphanage is on fire, and the lady that runs it, that runs it comes outside. She's like, it's on fire. <laughs> Like, bang, 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 bang. How important are no, these children? No, but, but see, the true negative that comes out of this, though, is whenever I beat someone who I think I care about, and then my powers don't work. And then that's the real thing. No. And no. Like, <laughs> bloody, just like, You're just all, sitting there hitting. I'm Why like, won't I'm it most, activate? It'll, it'll work soon. <laughs> Yeah, it won't activate. Oh, this <laughs> happens to all superheroes. Not everybody's works the first time. And that's my, but see, that's my villain arc: is I become a narcissist, and then I, I don't care about anybody besides myself, and I have to just beat myself. <laughs> and then that's how I, that's how I bring uh, corruption into the world. <laughs> That'd be mine. You, you oh, will be so a fun. valuable member of the offenders. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Thank you for joining the offenders. I just like I just picture you walking with your wife everywhere in a box, You're like, like honey. It's like some <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> Nezuko. You just bring her out and you beat the fuck I out don't of know her. What that means, but okay. <laughs> The fuck is Nezuko? Don't, don't even don't. start. I don't know what that means. Wait, are you for real? I don't watch anime. You just did Demon a fucking Slayer. Demon Slayer video about. Uh, I watched the first two episodes. You did a video about. I said. Uh, I said. Nah. <laughs> You know what's cool about Demon Slayer? Not a lot. <laughs> that's why, that's why I Thank thought. you. Thank you. I this sat there. The biggest first thing I was, I was like watching the show, and he's like, "What the fuck is his job at the beginning?" He like, "What?" He like, he's deliver. gathering sticks or some he, shit. Yeah, he gathers or sells stuff or he has six sticks or whatever. He's like walking to this woods, and this guy reaches out his window. He's like, "Hey, don't go in there. There's demons in those woods." And he's like, "Huh?" He's like, ah, come back in here. I'll tell you about it. And then he go, like, as I'm like, if it's that casual, how does everyone not know that there's demons in this world? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, hey, but if you want to, I'll make you steak, and we can, you can sleep over here tonight. He's like, okay, I will. He doesn't get love, <laughs> so like, but he's love. He sits there and he, and he goes, and he goes back. And then, his, of course, his sister and mom are dead. And, and he's like, oh, I can smell good. And I thought to myself, nah. <laughs> nah. I think I'll pass on this one. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Demon, you, just Demon just ruined, you just ruined Demon Slayer in 30 <laughs> seconds. I love it. Don't fucking sit here and talk about Demon Slayer for like 30 minutes. It's my favorite show. anime right And now, I'm dude. sitting here having PTSD moments just staring at the wall because I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Insufferable characters. <laughs> just fucking Joe, fucking Mountain Joe knows about demons and no one else does. God damn it. Yeah, you just, just ruined it. it. Literally, you know, he's, uh, and, that's like, and that's the thing though, I was like sitting there and I was like, what the guy just like reaches his literally and that happens like that. You, that's you literally that's episode like, one. Li li yeah, opens up. But yeah, the t the timid dude who's a fucking annoying prick and he turns into a badass sometimes and the pig fuck I can't stand any of them. I can't stand any of them. I just love your. I did watch a water form six. <laughs> he's fucking yeah. next step was like. <laughs> yeah. Please explain Attack on Titan to us. Attack on Titan had, I remember I saw the first episode and I was like, this is actually very cool. And then uh, I kept watching it and I thought to myself, man, this is getting gayer by the second. <laughs> you what's cool about Gundam is that the robots, you what's cool about Attack on Titan is that it's like, oh, it's like Gundam, but you're in giant people. <laughs> Oh, it's really cool that the humans have this thing. Oh, by the way, this this show is literally Michael Bay's The Island. <laughs> literally, literally. And then it's like, hey, by the way, the, the giant the giant castle walls, they're filled with tall people. And people are like, oh, that's kind of cool. Is it though? Is that entertaining? Nah, I think I'll pass on it though. It's kind of my whole thing. I, the one anime I did watch recently that I enjoyed was the uh, Devil Man Crybaby on Netflix, the limited series. I really enjoyed that. I haven't Liberty watched that one yet. I've heard nothing, but it's like Berserk, dark. It's fucking fucked up, dark. Berserk, shut the fuck up about Berserk. He hates Berserk. I hate Berserk. Really? Yeah. It's I've just bad hentai. And like he likes Demon Slayer. I, I Demon like Slayer. Uh, I like the art in Berserk a lot. I've never read the book, but I I ordered. I someone sent me from Japan the like uh, they were selling the art of 
Kentaro, what's his face? Uh, that's his last name. What's his face? It's very what's Japanese. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Eli, Sam, that's just his name. Eli, Sam, but Asian. Uh, but he, uh, but no, I. it's very like Lovecraftian, so I really enjoyed it. It's a very like cosmic horror-esque and fun. And the art's incredible. You are burping up a storm. I know, dude. Dude, vomit. I had those, chi- yeah, the, I had those chicken cums. biscuits. Yeah. You, got the, the cum, cum you got the cum bubbles? I ate that green mold yesterday, so my stomach's all yeah, fucked up. yeah. yeah. I just want to do like a 30 minute segment now of you fucking shitting on anime and their storyline because I'm not laughing this hard. I'm you don't want to attack on Titan is the island. It's fucking Gundam with people. I'm like, oh, I hate you your ruining I, 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 <laughs> The thing is, like, I like my, I mean, everybody likes, nope, like, people talk about taste a lot, right? Of like, oh, I have good taste in this or something, but nobody has good taste in anything. It's just what people <laughs> decide to. Like pass, like I mean, like uh, like fill their fucking their void for a yeah, minute. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like it's everything is terrible. Like nothing is good. Everything's terrible. But it's just a matter of like <laughs> what, what, what do you like? What do you what do you like watching? Is essentially what it is. So when I see people are like, oh, I'm a big anime person, I it, it's not like it's a bad thing. It's just that's just not my terrible cup of tea. That's a red flag for you. Not even a red flag. I just that's just not what I enjoy. I just don't enjoy watching it. What do you enjoy like, watching? Fuck this shit. I like watching B horror films, which is just equally as terrible. It's what like you? it's terrible garbage, but it's yeah, just okay, like okay, stuff okay. where I'm like, oh, because I think like it's just usually like uh, Hobo with the shotgun. Hobo with shotgun is good Canadian film. It's good. It's not bad, but I don't know. Like <clears throat> if I'm watching something, I like feeling like I'm like, oh man, I wish that I could do that. And that's what I find with and a lot of films. And you can do that with B horror films. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're yeah. Good. But, but you're good. you can if like your buddies get together. I love the burp and just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying blowing it towards oh, Dave. Just blowing it. <laughs> <in my laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. yeah, Dave. Oof. But yeah, I don't know. Like uh, anime to me though, I just like it. It, it just it, it it encapsulates what I don't like with like media, which is like over explaining and like the exposition of anime is like really infuriating to me i really and like it, it people are like oh well it's a translation thing but i think it's like more of a cultural thing of it's it's getting information to you as quickly and economically as possible but it's just like it could be done in such a better way but now it's so embedded into the anime culture that it's like it's just gonna happen that's just how it is now yeah that's fair. and i don't okay. like anime at all really but <laughs> but i do but, 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 but you're like anti <laughs> No, no, but there's a there's like, a lot, nah, there, there's a lot of things about anime that I really enjoy um, that I try to be open minded about, I guess. Of like, because I think a lot of people are like, "Oh, I fucking hate anime," and they just like write it yeah, off. Yeah, write it off instantly. I think that there's a lot of great ways to like draw influence from things, and like, I don't know if you guys listen to Tra- Have you ever heard Trash Taste podcast? I'm mm. About to. It's a huge podcast on YouTube with a. Uh, uh, three dudes living in Japan that do like primarily anime content. I don't really like anime, but they make stuff seem very interesting. And I, I found that out. that was that was very appealing to me. Of like, oh fuck, I don't really watch anime. I don't give a fuck about what the shows are talking about. But in terms of like, I it's, it's one of those things where it's like you see somebody who's passionately talking about something, and you're like, I like that that they're that they're stoked about that being passionate it's kind, it's about kind, something. Yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah, of the same, same thing with like you guys when you guys are doing stuff about like. All the material you guys do, it's so heavily invested into your own interests that I think it, that's what that's the appealing part of uh, the content that comes from that. So, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty cool. I can't Did you just say give it again real quick. Just say come. Thank you. Okay. God, this you have been God. Like as a guest, you are now one of my favorite because you're like breaking down. You're like where is that Matt Best guy? And that fucking Dave guy. <laughs> and what was his name? Matt Character. <laughs> Character. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> that guy, I'll die before he touches any of my merch. <laughs> I can't wait till he does your merch. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, hey, sorry about that. He doesn't watch this. He doesn't um, watch this. Oh, worry. he's going to share it, though, because I'm clipping this exact moment. That mer- Character. <laughs> <laughs> just really pronounce his last name like that. No, it's just like this is what this is my favorite. St- you like fucking you break down shit. It's funny, but you're like going in more depth than. Can you deep throw that mic? Don't don't do it. Don't do it. He does it for fun. Can you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Dave, do it. 
<laughs> we do this. This is the thing we do. Don't worry. We do stop. No, no one, one does it. I don't have a gag reflex. <laughs> no one. No one does but it. But would that not be a great clip of moment if you tried? Oh, like, it's been gagging. clipped many, many. But times. if you if you tried going so far that you threw up. <laughs> I, I know. The, you know how hard it is for me to vomit. So the other day, but you the don't omelets. blink. I can't. And throw, you may I don't not. throw up from this shit. I have to like finger fuck the back of my throat to try to throw up. I found a lot of people have uh, a very like, like <laughs> I don't it, have a gag it, reflex. It's, like the gag <laughs> reflex. I know. Yeah, it, I found a lot of people. It's like they, they'll like like do the motion, but they won't throw up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> man, humans are crazy, right? <laughs> I say I was watching the other day. I rewatched uh, some school, some s- from from my school. Remember when you'd walk into your school? You're kind of older than me. Well, you're really. Remember when you would? Remember, we, we had school. Remember when you would walk into school and you'd walk into the classroom and there was a TV monitor with a stand. Yeah. Owner for a major you're, you're, you're super yeah. so, Oh, they got the wheelie card out. A, it wasn't a science class. So you were iffy because it was a Bill Nye. And you're like, mm. <laughs> Where's this but going? It was that one, and I was talking about this the other day on my second channel. And it's that one where it's like, I think it's called. Uh, Roots? It's not called iWorks. It's something. <laughs> it's not Roots. Yes. It was, it, 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 it was Roots. Uh, we watched that. That, that was, that was I, been old. See, our, our new Roots was uh, Remember the Titans. That was our Roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've watched. I remember the Titans maybe 15 times mm-hmm. in school. I don't but, think we can what? say that's yeah. the new Roots. <laughs> Similar themes, similar themes in terms of just like social, like I don't know, yeah, yeah, socio political commentary. I guess I don't know, but the uh, from Vermont, like yeah, you're just like I don't know. I don't know. Like, That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Basically, anyway, it's, it's a it's a documentary thing where. Uh, it's like a school kind of broadcast where it starts in a, in a museum. It's called mm. like iWorks or something. <laughs> but it's like about like, it's kind of like, uh, it's just like weird informational shit, but it starts off in a museum. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I just remember the theme song Slap, though. <laughs> <laughs> More Best like anime in 2020. 20, 20, 20. It was crazy. It started in this museum and you'd trickle through the museum and a parrot would fly through and it's like, do 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 <laughs> in a fucking volcano. <laughs> okay. What crazy. is the meat gaining cartoon coming out of the animation about this? Never. You how much do we oh, wait for the offenders? How much do we get to pay you? I won't do it. Why? I you get to beat the time. shit out of your wife. Oh, I don't <laughs> that's, that's easy and free. It takes no time. He doesn't do it. <laughs> We're just keep raising the number until you say yeah. Let's, let's start off with a drawing. Just a drawing. I can do a drawing. How much? We'll do it right now. I you know, don't need, need to pay anything. I'll just do it. Do you need a drawing? A is second? nothing as much as like an animation is just like time. time. Oh. Which is just a matter of like, and that's the entire thing with uh, production is just how do you? You're buying time always with everything. Because you set would, hand is everything. Yeah. You'll tell he'll he'll talk about this story when we offer for the Black Rifle cartoon. Mm-hmm. You like this much? I was like, how about we pay you this much? Because I offered well over. You like gave me a number, and yeah, I was yeah. like, no, no, we'll pay you this much. I was like, we're fucking. And the I, price was awesome. It was cool. It was just a matter of time, like, bro. Like it's just we time. get you. We do, brother, and that's why we get it. Because especially your style. I know, like going into a film set, how much time you're drawing shit, and that's why I was like. He, it's hard. It's his like his pricing is yeah, very good, but like, we were like, "I'll pay. We will pay." Like well, quali- then the quality would be there to where you guys would be happy with it. It's just a matter of like, it's just like Does looking it after. It's just once again, it's just the YouTube algorithm. YouTube favors people who are like, they find a system where it's like less about thinking. This is wrong to say because there's a lot of thought that goes into shit. It's less about thinking about the content and more about being the personality and bringing the content to the people. But what I mean by that is that it needs to be so easy that you're just like, I can like mine this. No, no, that's absolutely. That Why do you think we do this? But podcast? at the same time, people. <laughs> but but at the same time, though, it's the the mining process can be like, well, how do we evolve that? And stuff to where it can be something that progressively gets better or that you feel creatively fulfilled by and stuff. So I don't want to make people think that it's just like, oh, it's easy and animation is hard because that's not the case. Because editing and stuff can be just as hard. Like all these things can be just as hard. Being a personality is just as hard. Drawing in a crowd is just as hard. So there's no one thing. If people are like, oh, well, animation is hard, so I like this. That's a fucking wrong way to like like something mm-hmm. or like be about it it's it's really stupid so it's just and then when people are like complaining about like oh 
uh, <clears throat> you know, animation is really hard for YouTubers. Yeah, it is, but that's the medium you chose. So it's about evolving to that thing and like making your medium it, fit that. Yeah, exactly. And like YouTube, it'll probably change again. It always does. And it's just about, okay, well, we have to transition into like what is favorable with that thing. So that's just like, that's just what it is, I guess. Content I creation, man. Well, it's not like a static, easy, golden ticket to, to whatever. No, it, You're it, constantly it, it having is, to think about how constant, to evolve it. It's a fucking, uh, it's a Best mental, it's the a, moment it's, you get it's stale, a mental it's fucking like, hurt all the time because you're constantly like, questioning yourself and stuff and you're trying to keep people engaged because I, I think about things of like when I was like even 2019 I'm like it's hard to think that people give a fuck after a year because they're just like nah I've had my fill you know so it's constantly like you're, how the fuck you're do trying I keep to cater to a TikTok audience why yeah, do they give well, a fuck that's a year the, later that's when the they thing. can blast like, you know, and, and, a million and, and, videos and I, think that's, that's, I don't think why I can ever and the thing too is like I did one thing on a TikTok with my wife one time and it blew up or whatever and I was like, that was so unfulfilling. Like, I was like, <laughs> that took 12 seconds. It meant nothing. These likes mean nothing to me. These views mean nothing to me. This TikTok algorithm thing feels so, like, hollow. Of people would just be like, huh, like, <laughs> scroll. It means nothing. Versus, mm -hmm. like, you might even if you're on YouTube and you're like, yeah, I'm not getting a million views, but I'm getting 250,000 views a vlog or, like, video. To me, that's, like, that's a commitment. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of cool. So there's still that. But and this, I think a lot of people lose the sight of that. It's like uh, on your main channel, what is the lowest performing video you've done? I don't know. I mean, I, 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 a million. The, let's say. Eight. Um, maybe. I think that. But at the same time, though, there's an, a very unhealthy aspect of like looking at that. Of no, like, let's look at the healthy though. Let's say it's a mill. You your lowest is a mill. Sure, it's a, a, a. But I guess what I meant is like how I look at it, which is like I'm like if a tune doesn't get 10 million views, I'm like oh it's a fail. That's like a fail. Yeah, move along. You just said ten, this boy said 10 million. Yeah, it's, it's totally un. Uh, it's unrealistic. That's but, content creator brand. But at the same though. time, that is, though, okay. but at the that's same time, if you looked at my creative. stuff though, that's not unreasonable to get. Like, so whenever you try to do new things or you try to branch out of these things, you are uh, you're trying to cater to that thing. So it's like if it's if something doesn't hit like 10 million views or something like that, you're just like. You're like, oh, well, fuck, whatever, you know? It's that drug of, I need these numbers. Because you got to look at it like this. That's, and this is how I always break it down. It's like, let's say it's fucking a million. Your lowest is a mil. Mm. You have just filled out 10 Super Bowl stadiums. You standing there yeah, but playing I mean, a video. Is, I, 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 don't, I, I hate that analogy. Because but at this, do yeah. you know how much Apple pays for a single? If you can promise Apple a million view video, do you know how... Much they pay for that. A oh, commercial, a million, one point two, eight hundred to one point two million. I'd love to work with Apple. <laughs> yeah, but that's why, I like that's, Apple, dude. and that's why, I like, like for your numbers with what? us, I was like, here's how much we'll pay you, and that's yeah, on the low end. YouTube videos, man, because it's what you're doing and what your worth is is so fucking much, and we see that, and that's like I see that these guys see it because you can fucking get the views, and I know every time I know. Yo, Meat Canyon, if he does a video, no matter what piece of content, this boy needs to charge 50 grand minimum for a cartoon because he, at minimum, is bringing in a mil video view. I'd be, if I was you, I'd be like 100,000 per fucking commercial. If it goes on my I've channel, never, 100 yeah, grand. Yeah, and you know, I've had sponsors come in and be like, well, and they've offered like rates that are comparable to that, but I've never done it because the channel's Creative never. control. The, the, well, no, it's not even that. It's just the channel's never done it. So I'm like, I don't need it. It's just like a matter of like greed, I guess. I have my second channel where I do sponsors and stuff, and that thing I'm trying to become the little like uh, I guess uh, workhorse of uh, sponsorship and stuff like that. But <laughs> I think, yeah. it, but I think it's like uh, how much uh, I don't know how much money do you need, you know? Yeah. Enough to it's pay cool. the bills. And, and at the end of the day, too, like I'm work, I'm looking after me and my wife. And I'm looking after my future, but at the same time, like I'm fine. I don't need to do that. Well, look at you trying to have a future. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen I, Maddie's numbers? I like my sponsors God. personally. <laughs> I, and I, the, well, I have a kid. The too, sponsors, the like, sponsors I work with are great. I, I just mean, like, in terms of like, if I can, especially on a con like, because you do stuff that's long, very long form. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to put something in that, and, and it doesn't take anything away from your content. Yeah. So your content stays very pure. That's true. Holy if, shit. If yeah. it's if it's a two minute, three minute long cartoon, that completely mm -hmm. corrupts. With a one minute ad. Yeah. Especially if someone's like, "Man, I love this cartoon," but forever there's like a Nord ad on it. Yeah. It feels just kind of no, like no, no. I, I feel, I feel you, you on know? that. Dude, it's but, a hard trade off. Like, go yeah, on, it's, go it's, on. It's hard. Yeah, it's, it's like you said. Your cartoons are like two, three minutes long sometimes. To put a, and 
uh, sponsors always want a 45 second to 60 yeah, second always. ad. 60 to 90 is what I've seen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. to put a minute and a half ad on a yeah. two minute cartoon. Yeah, that doesn't make, make sense. Make at any all. sense, yeah. That's the hardest part. That's why, like, BRCC, when it started, there was no. So, how we did it for the longest time, there was zero ads for BRCC. It was insulate. You got a fucking. We did a 10 second insulate at the end of a comedic video for BRCC to get it where it is. And I remember the first video was How to Be American, Inslate, and it was just 50 million view video on uh, Facebook, Facebook, fucking Slade, and that's what we did. And then we were averaging 10 to 20 million during the Facebook era of content yeah. pushing, yeah, there with we go, just yeah. Inslates. That's all we cared for, and it fucking catapulted the well, business. That's the, thing, well, that's the crazy thing, though, too, is just like, if you have something that's more organic that can be like 10 to 15 seconds long, I feel... <laughs> Part of me feels like that's going to be something that's more impactful about being like, hey, just check this out. It's way, more it's way more relaxed. It's way more just like conversational. People are like, well, maybe I will. That's versus, how I drive my Twitch ads now. Versus, yeah, and that's the way to do it, I think. Because mm -hmm. like you ha you'll have the 60 to 90 stuff, and it's like so – and you'll hear the same script across – Multiple videos constantly, and they hundreds. fucking I hate that. Instead of giving but, and the then, person, but, and then you know, people are like complaining. Like I had this one guy be like, "Dude, honestly, <laughs> fucking love your stuff, but I'm sad <laughs> because Raid Child. Like, really, you're gonna support? So it's like, uh, how about you come and fucking pay my mortgage? Like, how do you <laughs> suck my dick? It's <laughs> fucking I'm straight up, man. But, like, but, fucks, I hate. Like, oh. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's so stupid, but it's just like at the same time, it's like if that's what the brand wants and it helps the channel, why would you care? Yeah. That's like, and if people are so like absent-minded of that, shit. then fuck them. Because there's so many people who are just like, okay, I don't want to hear the ad. They'll skip, and then that's, yeah. that's it. That's the end of it. It's like, but, just fucking don't watch that. That's end. the absolute end of it. And, and someone's like, dude, well, why don't you put the little bar at the end? I'm like, probably because you're a fucking human being in 2022. How about you have enough hindsight to just be like, click. If you're on your phone, just slide <laughs> yeah. three times. That's, that's it. a minute thirty that's seconds, it. dude. Yeah. I, it's wild to see people complain about ad reads at this point. It's like it's children. It's literal children. Content creators, like uh, with the things we do, this is how we make money. Like we don't, we don't have like some magical fucking gold fairy shoving shit up our asses after the fact. Like there, there needs to be something to drive this content. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, sometimes you have to do ad reads to do that. Or just the play vast, ads. The vast majority of people are incredibly cool. Like, a lot of people will not complain. But the problem that lies with social media is that the oh. people that do complain are the loudest. The, yeah. Yes. That, it's, that's yeah. that's yeah. That's a very and vocal then, minority. And, but, but what happens with that, too, is that when people are the loudest about it, they cause other people to be like, yeah, like, maybe I don't, <laughs> I don't like it either. <laughs> that kind of shit. You're just like... You're both fucking dumb. Yes. And it, I saw I saw a Facebook lemmings post. jumping off the cliff. A, shit. a long time ago, I saw uh, this like <laughs> horrible Facebook article of this woman duct taping her dog's mouth shut, and it was horrible. Stop but I keep recalling on that, and I was just like, man, I would love to do that to you <laughs> because you're insufferable. <laughs> and I hope that it's just as irredeemable as it is. Like I want it to be bad. Yeah. Like, I, I want people yeah. to be like, that's. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I want you to watch <laughs> as I take this four, this four dollar, which duct tape is expensive, four dollar roll of duct tape and fucking wrap it around this person's fucking snout. And it's like fuck them, <laughs> fuck them, as if they, they're and like they act like they have any more life experience than I do. I'm like, bitch. I've been homeless before. I've worked at FedEx fucking freight before. Eat my dick. <laughs> you piece of shit. Ben Hunter is my favorite guest of all time now. Hands down. You, it, it's, I, I, I will fucking go into what he just said. I will go on a tangent. I if we got fucking, if you see a fucking ad on Twitch, guess what? That's how your content creators making fucking money. If you see an ad on YouTube, and with ours, we have seven now. You know why? It is to fucking buy cameras so it looks better. It is to up the quality so we can give back to the community. That we're Get greedy. fucked if you yeah, think it's, it's uh, for us. We don't I give a fuck about there, that. There's a large part of it where people think that, like, personal sponsors, anything that you do that gets you money is not personal greed all the time. Every time. There are people who abuse it. Yeah. There are definitely people who abuse that kind of stuff. But I think that if you like someone genuinely, it's because they're trying to evolve what they do to make what you enjoy better. That's essentially what it is. It's so. not selling out. It's like, I, and fuck it. Like any, all 
any at all. Imagine if they're like fucking rake shadow legends. You're doing your fucking YouTube video or whatever, and they're like, we'll pay you 20 to 50 grand to do a minute ad spot. You're going to say, yeah, because you're like, I would never sell at 50 grand. Okay. okay. This, hey, this welcome to Rain Shadow if, Legends. If I, if, I can even, <laughs> if I can even, I guess, uh, jump in, too, it's like <clears throat> less about even like what I do. If like if I on my channel, I do a Raid ad, I do a Nord ad, and then I do like some other fucking bobbledy boop fucking ad. Who cares? What it my favorite. It's a gummy bear ad. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what it is. That assures that like my editor can pay his rent. I can pay him his salary kind of thing. Animators get paid f fairly. The comp artists get paid fairly. People that I want to be like, hey, I want you to do a voice on this, they get paid fairly. It's um, all a matter of like, it goes back into the channel somehow. And it's like, do I like pay myself some of that? Of course I do because I have my own bills to pay and all that kind of stuff. And you want security out of your life. It's like, I, Wait, I, you're, I, I, you're investing into your your content self. and your job security. It's a business, it's like yeah. any other business, and people don't fucking understand that. No, well, because I think people see the thing of like, and I've been there too. You know, I mean, like, and I sympathize with it too. Of like, don't I've been I've been the them. person don't. when I was yeah, exactly. No, actually, you know what? Never mind. No, uh, <laughs> Have I, you seen his I, superpower? I, I, lived, I lived. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where's my, my wife? <laughs> uh, well, like, uh, I'd work, like, construction, or I would work whatever. Like, when I was... We uh, all work uh, shitty jobs. Yeah, or, like, you, you do what you do, and it sucks because people are like, I hate this job. I've hated my job before, so then they see somebody doing something they like, and they're like, and you're getting paid for that? Fuck yourself, I'm going to pay for that. Because I feel that. I yeah. totally feel that. But at the same time, if it's a sponsored video and you're not doing anything besides watching the video, you should just be like, it is what it is. You, you might have a Patreon plug. You don't have to sign up for it. You don't have merch. You don't have to do it. it. It's all optional based. It's not like I'm like, it would be different if a content creator was constantly being like, dude, honestly, like if we're not getting merch sales up, like I'm done. <laughs> I'm turning the power <laughs> which off. I ima which I imagine people have done. Yeah. Which I, goes I, into our next segment. Hey. Bunker branding. Uh, our merch like, sales are not this character. fucking shit. Yeah, Matt <laughs> character. <laughs> fuck that you. Fuck. That son of a bitch. He's pulling the operation on all of us. He's pulling the plug. <laughs> no, it's like, just think of yourself as a personal trainer. I'm not going to work out after work. I'm not going to stay in shape. I have to train people every day. But you know what? Nah, I'm not going to be in good shape. You're, you're bettering your career. Why the fuck wouldn't you do that as a content creator? Well, I, I, you, you, you lost me because there's been so many times where I've tried to get up in the morning and be like, I'm going to walk for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, this and, 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 and I lay in my bed and I'm just like, I think I'm just going to make eggs instead. <laughs> I'm going to do a happens. full eight month. We're going to do an eight month commitment. I'm, you need to live closer. I it's love really it, far. I, wish I would just wake up. If you were so much closer, have you thought you about like moving to Bernie? Again? No, I, uh, I have a house. Have fuck the guest again? How do you can sell it? You can sell it. I could. I would sell it. That smells horrible. Sorry. That actually smells terrible. That's, 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 that's why we need to. Honestly, it's a newfound appreciation. <laughs> that's yeah. That's yeah. yeah. You like just like, burp fuck in Dave. your mouth. Fuck Dave. He's like, what do you mean fuck Dave? It wasn't like, me. He's like sitting there in his little gremlin body. He's like, I wish you I'm a gremlin. <laughs> And it just seeps across the table and like gets up into your fucking nose. It's the worst. Why am I a grim body? <laughs> You're a tiny buff little man. <laughs> I'm not, he's so tiny, isn't he? He's a tiny little fucking dude. He's like a square. You, he's a buff guy. Yeah, he's like a square. He's very in shape. He's tight. Buff, buff little man. I fucking hate tiny. these <laughs> Thank you no, for watching the, the Unsubscribe <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> We have Eli Double Tap. We have Donut Operator. Hi, I'm Batty. Streams are Dave, whatever. And our awesome fucking new favorite guest. Plugs, Me real Canyon. quick. Please shout out all the things all in the, the places. Things. Google.com. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me Canyon what is your What is your second channel of the vlog one? The pop. Well, it's not vlog. It's just not. Your it's bullshit not, channel? Yahoo.com. <laughs> you just. Pop me. Where do you jizz? <laughs> I jizz in my bed. <laughs> in a real man. And in my toilet. Fluck, put all those like up. Like a real man, thank yeah. you. I we'll jack off when I shit, and then I, I fucking come on top of my shit. <laughs> and then it's like Elmer glue that like drizzles down into the toilet bowl that rests on top of my shit. And then my wife gets mad because sometimes the cum stays on the inside of the bowl. It's on the toilet, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's totally normal. It's like if you could put that in the first 30 seconds. I want to say everybody loves Raymond theme to go. Barbara, what the fuck do you mean that my... 
toilet, my cum's on the toilet bowl. Fuck off, you bitch. That shit almost caused a divorce. Just, just put this in the first 30 seconds, please. Just right after. Just stay tuned. That's it. Thanks for watching today. I love you all. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. God bless us a good episode. Yes. I'm loving this one. These are like my favorites. It's it's like when it's just like, fucking. You always find my nipple. Problem? I can I have a nipple detector built into myself. Like I just, you know, I can feel it. <laughs> Fuck, you gonna include all this, bud? <laughs> That's the end screen. Right there. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean this is a great end screen. So I have nipple there. detectors.